Hello guys and welcome to the next episode of Sims... Ah, I'm not going to fall into that trap again, you thought I was. To City Skylines. Yep, I didn't even notice I said that in the last episode <laughs> until I came to edit the video. Yes, of course, City Skylines. I always want to say Sim City. So, why are we here in the menu? I want to show you a mod that I've been using just before we dive into our game. Very quickly, when you go to your content manager and look at your assets... This is the Better Asset Manager mod. And look at this. It's amazing. Rather than having like a, a text list like this sort of thing, you get nice pictures of all your assets. You can decide which ones you want in the game, which ones you don't want in the game. You can select. Let's go to the top here. Activate and deactivate the ones you do and don't want in the game. They're also sorted via different things as well. So we've got favourites here. We can favourite some. But we have them in... Separated into buildings, into interchanges, and if people sorted them properly on the <laughs> on the asset manager on Steam, then they would all be sorted even more. But I don't think I have many of these other things here. But so I think this is absolutely brilliant, and of course color schemes, all sorts of things here. So you can go through here and easily add or remove. You know, you might have tried an asset, it didn't really work. You don't want it clogging up your thing. And uh, yeah, you can easily remove it. And I think this is a brilliant addition. We still haven't got um the the pictures of these in game yet even though we're now on the 1.7 c update it's the brand new one that's come out today when you're seeing this video um but they're working on that they've said so hopefully we'll get that soon there we go that was it so i will now load my game and i will see you there in a second and here we are in New Biffington. Wow, we have the latest update. And you know the thing that's made me the most happy about this new update? When you go into these menus, the escape key backs you out of the thing. Although it doesn't back you out one step. I would expect the first press of escape to do that, then the second one to do that. But I can't complain because it's going to mean I'm going to stop having the, <laughs> the menu popping up all the time. The um, blah, 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 the escape pause menu, whatever it's called, which is good. So, look at all the upgrades. People are just upgrading all the time. Look at them go. This is fantastic because we placed, last episode, if you remember correctly, up here we placed... Oh, a bit of staggy laggeriness. There we go. The Eden Project. Eden Project, getting lots of visitors here, which is brilliant. Really pleased about that. How's our airport doing? I haven't stopped in and looked at this for a while. Let's have a check here. 35 passenger service last week. Still got the weird road of weirdness added in there. So today, oh yeah, let's look at this. We've got this airport here. Passenger service last week, zero. Really? Even though this is right by here. And we've got lots of people coming in. Very strange. Right, we need some commercial stuff. But before we do that, I want to have a look. We're making so much money. 78,000, 79, 80,000 a week. We actually put our budget up to the max on unique buildings. And I'm wondering whether to up some of these as well. Because we're making so much money. I'm going to add... In fact, I'm going to max my fire. Probably don't need to max... Let's have a look. Incineration status. Yeah, I'm probably going to max most things, not everything. Healthcare. Healthcare I'll leave for a minute because we're going to add the new healthcare building. Garbage is going to go up. Water and electricity are okay. We've got all the electricity we ever need because we now have the fusion power plants. Water can go up a bit. Let's get that up to 125, say. Um, education, now that is something that probably, yeah, look, that could do with going up a lot. So let's up the education budget. Let's max that out, see what difference that makes. That'd be interesting to see, actually. There we go, look, it adds a bit of capacity, not a huge amount. So while we're looking at this, let's add some more elementary schools around here. Let's pop this one... Let's take out the smallest building in the area. Let's have an elementary school by the sea. And a high school. I'll try and sort of just spread these around the area. Just to sort of pick spots that don't have 
that many. Could do one down here, I think. Let's see if I can squeeze this high school in. The annoying thing is it takes the place of so many buildings, but there we go. Will that go there? No. Um, don't want it down the inside there. It's a shame it's so big. Look, you can see all the things upgrading around the corner. Okay, it's going to go there. High school availability. Elementary school still quite low. We've only got three up here. Okay, we need to add one over this side. We don't have one in here. Let's try and find somewhere that isn't going to mess up too many things. That's going to take out that road. There we go. Woohoo! There you go. High school's back in the green. University's always really high. Elementary. They don't actually take that many people, do they? 300. So let's add another one round here. Space already occupied. Let's find a couple of smallish buildings. There we go. So that will keep us going for a while, I think. We have high schools around there. Good. Okay, so that's our education budget is up. Parks and forests. Yeah, let's whack that up. So that's going from 13,000 to not much more. So that's okay. We'll put that up. Healthcare. How's the health of all our people? Let's have a look. Healthcare availability, brilliant. Average health is high. Cemetery usage, cemetery availability, we're fine on all of that. So I'm not going to bother with that one. Look, you can see all the flashes of the upgrades. Upgrades are just going through the roof. It's nuts. Uh, water and electricity, we're fine on. I think we just checked that. Yes, we did. Oh, it's your nose again. It's that time of year. Where allergies and things like that. Um, we could up some of these as well. The more buses are available. Let's up this a little bit. Let's up that to 125. That may start helping with some traffic things. Which one's this one? Metro trains. Yeah, we'll do these all up to 125. And we'll see how we go. We can always pop these back down again. Harbours can support more. And airports with higher funding. They don't really do much anyway, but you know, let's let's up them anyway and see what happens. And population is still going up, which is brilliant. So, monuments. We still have our medical centre to add. And that means we could put... It looks like we can just remove all of our other medical medical things that we have going on. So it says the medical centre is a research facility that works on finding cures for diseases and ailments. It is so vast and efficient that it can easily take care of all your citizens' health needs. So it's a patient capacity of a thousand. But I'm wondering whether, because these, let's have a look at a medical clinic. Uh, wrong button. Let's have a look down here at this place. Because these actually send out ambulances. Here are all the upgrades! All the upgrades! These actually send out ambulances. So if I put one of these down somewhere... What, is that going to... I mean, it might give me the capacity, but... I mean, if I put it down here, are ambulances really going to travel all the way up here? That just seems a bit weird to me, but... I mean, I'm thinking maybe... I mean, it's a big building. Maybe somewhere on a main road. It's not going to go there. It could possibly go on here. It wasn't so bendy. Such a big building, it's going to take up a huge slot. Look at the size of it. I mean, in here would seem like a good spot, but these are quite small roads. Ah, what about over here on the main drag? Yes, here opposite High Interest Tower. That would be good. Let's squeeze it right in there, and let's have a look at this. Achievement Unlocked Medic. And how far is that happiness going to spread? Okay, well let's see. Let's have a look at this first. So capacity is through the roof. That may be the same as what it was a minute ago. <laughs> I can't remember. And what does it say here? Healthcare for the whole city. Patient 0 out of 1,000. Patients treated. Ambulance is 1 out of 51. So it absolutely has a ton of ambulances. And all the upgrades are going on again. This building looks fantastic. Let's just 
Let's go here. Mm, and have a look up. It looks a bit dirty, considering it's a hospital. Are we stood in the middle of the... Oh, my goodness me! Oh, that was close. What do you think of the... Oh, he's gone. I was going to ask him what he thought of the new medical centre. That looks fantastic. Oh, it's got a place for industrial waste over here. Let's run around the back. I must say... Hearing all those upgrades is great. And this building does really look nice. It looks a bit sort of shabby. But then I suppose the NHS is, is struggling a bit in, the, in, in Britain. But there we go. That is, whoa, that is weird when it does that. That is one funky looking building. But, let's see, what does it say? Ambulance is 1 out of 51. Okay, so that's good. So hopefully that's going to be helping. Now I'm wondering whether... Why don't we turn off the rest of our healthcare then? Because if that really isn't needed, then that would, you know, we, we will see how that affects. Let's just perhaps do... What would be good if I could have this open here, but not have this selected? Oh, I can, because I'm so clever. <laughs> I forgot about doing it that way. Okay, so let's let's just turn some of these off. Hospital, and let's see how that affects the healthcare in the area. Where is it? It's nuzzled in there. Medical centre. So that's that's them all turned off for down here. Okay, let's do the whole of this bottom section. In fact, let's just do all of them. Why not? We're doing a test. Let's test properly. Still getting the upgrade, so that's good. There's one over here. So I don't know whether these are going to be super fast medical centres. This is my giant hospital. Okay, that's going to go as well. So let's see whether this affects the health of people. Yeah, there must be supersonic ambulances that can travel the length and breadth of a city. Yeah, it's not doing anything, is it? Okay, that seems... Oh, there's one more here. Medical clinic. I think that's the lot, isn't it? So you've just got that one place there. Average health, 99%. It's high. So I'm wondering whether with that building... We had no healthcare over here. I'm wondering with that building whether... It sort of maxes out the figures. No raw materials. Okay. Whether it will just automatically max out the figures on here. Whether the ambulances are getting there or not. I don't know whether that would be the case. Land value is ridiculous. Okay, right. So that's that one. What other monuments do we have? The Hadron Collider. This is the test thing. I don't know what that's about. But Hadron Collider. Place of science. Various research takes place in the facility. Oh, education. Yeah, I needn't have built those schools, had I? A city with a Hadron Collider doesn't need to worry about education. The facility provides it for all citizens. Wow. So where could we put that? We've got our monument area where people are, are coming to visit. We have our sort of smaller areas of houses down here. Do you know what? I really need to get a chirp of extermination mod. I just don't actually read his chirps anymore. <laughs> I've gone past reading them. They say the same thing. Uh, I just want to check what these abandoned buildings were. Oh, he's gone. Okay, he's disappeared. Oh, I bet he's automatically been abandoned. Let's just turn that off for now so we can see what's going on. So where should we put this one? How big is it? Not too big. What's a sort of sciencey area? We've got industry over here. And we've got this messy sort of industry place here, which, to be honest, this was going to end up being removed at some point and expanded here. Do you know what? I may just remove this because I wanted this to tie. I wanted all of this to be in, uh, to be residential. We'll get to that in a minute, actually. Let's put the Hadron Collider. This little place over here has been tucked out of the way on its own for so long. Is this going to be visited by people? It seems like a sciencey, industry sort of businessy type, uh, industry sort of type thing. That's space already occupied. What have we got here? Still works. Firehouse. Okay, can we move the firehouse? 
Let's move the firehouse. Ooh, we're so sad. The firehouse has moved two blocks down the road. Uh, let's do that. Achievement unlocked. A huge hadron. The hadron collider. Yep, there's no visitors. That's good. So taking care of all of your education needs. Well, let's check that. Education capacity. Millions. So... Can we now turn off all of these that I've just built and spent my money on? Let's try this then. So, I mean, are they going to be travelling the length and breadth of my city again? It's that question, isn't it? How is that going to work when people want to travel to education? It's not affecting the land value. Everybody's still happy. So let's turn these off. Turning those off. My budget is increasing. The money that I'm making is increasing a lot. How much does this thing cost to run? 14,400 a week. Okay, well, that's not too bad. No schools in that area there. Elementary school. So basically, kids of all ages are going to be going to this school. They're going to go. Oh, achievement unlocked. Higher education. Not sure what that is. I think that's possibly to do with having, yeah, look, a certain percentage educated. I've just passed 75%. I bet that was it. Yeah, so they're going to start kindergarten, I suppose you'd call it, across the pond there. Or preschool, nursery sort of thing. They're going to go to the Hadron Collider. And then they're going to stay there until they leave at... 18 or between 16 and 18 or whatever and if they want to go to university they're still going to be there this hadron collider is going to be looking after people's education for years to come okay let's just see if that's all of them it looks like it have i missed any nope so has the land value is that still rocking the green look at it goodness me okay Oh, why did this ha Why did this place get abandoned? Are you not pleased? Look at what's going on in our city. It's amazing. No raw materials. Okay, well. Oh, does that mean we're running out of ore and stuff here? Because this wasn't this an ore, an ore industry district? Do we never name this district? We have before. Yes, there it is. Uh, yeah, before. Let's have a look. Ah, or there is not much there anymore, is there? So that is now having to ship it in from outside. Okay, I wonder if I need to change something there. We'll think about that. So that's it. We've put in the fusion power plant, taking care of all our power. Look at that through the roof. The space elevator to bring in all the tourists and give us tons of money. We're making nearly a hundred thousand. A week. We put in the Eden project and our leisure. Our leisure isn't the best. It's okay up here. Can I actually make more of these? Building all exists. No, I can't. The medical center. Um, see, the leisure. Leisure is quite low. Here it's okay. Which is our leisure one? Population. Health. I know one of these is leisure. Pollution, traffic, noise pollution, buses, crime, outside connection, districts. Ah. Never really looked at that before. We've got a little area that is not part of a district here. Now that's weird. Well, what should we make you a part of? What are you here? Your houses, okay. Bifton Heights, Lower Bifton. Well, the local people took a vote. And being sort of smaller houses, we thought you should join Lower Bifton. So let's add you in here. Hope that's okay with you guys. There we go. We're now part of Lower Bifton. Um, what was I looking at? Education. Leisure. Oh, it's the very last one. There we go. So leisure is pretty low. This is okay. High-ish, gets low around there. 
no leisure up here at all. On the edges, it's not so good. So basically, it's all the parks and things that are affecting the leisure. Entertainment 62, Radius 43, Llama Sighted 4. We all need more llamas. Have I got something different here? Small park, small park, small park, small park. We went mad on the small parks, didn't we? So Entertainment 125, Radius... What's the biggest entertainment that we can get? I don't know, some of these are... Mm, Colossal Order Park. What's this one? Japanese Garden! Oh, everybody was given a Japanese garden, weren't they? That doesn't tell you... It doesn't tell you much about... Let's put one... This corner here is in desperate need. Let's have a look. So it's got nothing there. Can we squeeze it in there? It's going to take down all of those buildings. I'm afraid that's the spot, though. There we go. What does our Japanese garden do? Entertainment 156, radius 25. Oh, didn't want to do that. I was trying to pin it on the screen like you would in Banished. So, 156, 25, 62, 43. So, that's got a bigger radius. That's got a bigger entertainment value. So, that's affected the legend. Let's put some more Japanese gardens in. Do we need to sort of have these spaced out in the middle sections here? I have one there. This is terrible leisure over here. Is that going to squeeze in there? It is. Everybody loves a good Japanese garden. Let's try and squeeze them in without taking out the footpaths. I have one there. <clears throat> what are you complaining about? Oh, it's turned off. Well, do you know what? Yes, we're going to delete you. To make room for a Japanese garden. And let's add one over here. What's that place there? A high school. Pfft. Who needs high schools? If we can have Japanese gardens. There we go. So that is a lot better. That is much, much better. So what about over here? Let's put a few Japanese gardens around here. Sort of try and overlap this a bit. So that was going up to there. Let's have one there. That dead person was removed by force of Japanese garden. These Japanese gardens are so powerful. Slope too steep. Building must be placed roadside. Oh, can't we squeeze one in here? Slope too steep, slope too sleep, sleep, sleep too sloop. There we go, we'll have one there. And then we'll have one over here to overlap that bit. Hopefully that will sort those guys out. One in the middle here would be good. Space already occupied. There we go. And finally one here. These Japanese gardens are fantastic. Everybody loves them. So any spots that are a bit lacking down here? What's that? Elementary school. Gone. Be gone. Japanese garden. We have a nice spot there that no one's built in. And... Nice spot there. These are looking a bit sad. Let's add one there. And one there. Let's get everybody happy with the leisure. This bit over here is a bit... Is that a building? Is that a school? Bing! Not anymore. Who needs schools? We've got Japanese gardens. Okay, let's add one here. One right up the end here. We'll nestle one in there. They want to make sure we're covering everything here. So that should really help with the leisure. These guys here are not too pleased. Do you know what? You've obviously got to travel far too far for your Japanese garden. There we go. How about that? What's our population? 109,000. We're making... So we've maxed out budgets. We're still making nearly 80,000. We're getting all sorts of abandoned buildings. 
I'm going to turn that back on again. Keep that automatic deleting those. Good grief. Well, I think next episode we're going to remove this industry here and we're going to expand this. And I may, I don't know, I may go for a blocky sort of layout like this. We've redone this area so much. I don't know, I may remove that roundabout and just sweep this across. Have something else here. We shall see next time. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this episode. And we'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.